All right. So, hey, I'm Jeff Seabach with the Seabach team. You know, it's uh, one of these things that you do probably when you're at your house. So maybe you're just relaxed. And so we're going to roll like this. But welcome to how you create a search in MLS so that you can become a neighborhood expert so that you can look at the houses at the times when it's the best time to see the house for the for you and the client but because there's three things that are going to benefit you significantly meaning because this is going to help you learn about houses it's going to learn about the inventory you're going to learn around stuff around your house you're going to become a market expert and also then you're going to have something to talk about with your friends, family, neighborhood, you have stuff to post on social media because it's your neighborhood, you're gonna get excited about it. But let's start, start at the first step and that is logging on to MLS. So I'm gonna share my screen here. Um, I'm gonna go share right now. So I have two documents here. If you could see on um, the left side here, I have, this is gonna be a document that you're gonna be able to search on the drive. It's gonna be on agent resources. I'm gonna add uh, to the open house folder I'm gonna add other documents, which are handy documents when working out in the field so you can learn scripts or learn processes or just be reminded. So I'm gonna log on to MLS. So this is setting up MLS search to set up and save, because we're gonna be saving a search for you for around your neighborhood that is specifically designed for you to see the coming soon. And then we're going to save a second search that you're going to create to do the actives, right? So the main part of understanding here with this is that the coming soons are communicated out through MLS. That means anybody that has a search set up for MLS. So I've been setting up people for searches in MLS for 15 years. So if it fits that search criteria, it goes out. So that means, you know, you got to figure there's 50,000 realtors setting up searches. There's probably anywhere from 100,000 to 200,000 to a, a, possibly a million searches. I don't know, just a lot of searches that are getting communicated out when coming soon because realtors can send coming soons out if they selected it. Um, but so what we're going to do is we're going to, um, I'm trying to make sure you see every house. That means we need to see the coming soons the day they're listed in case someone out there says they're not going to, you know, accepts the contract from the first person that comes through it or they had a buyer. You're just trying to access as many houses as you can immediately because this is how you see the best houses in your neighborhood because some of them sell the first day and then you don't see them and then you didn't know that that was a great house, even though the agent, you know, whatever. Let's get back to the point. So we're going to log into MLS here. So we're just going to hit log in. So I have my save criteria of my password. So you're probably seeing, you got to enter in your MLS ID, which is usually the first two letters. Mine is JS. So Jeff Seabach and then 589. And then I have a password. So enter that. And now you're going to have a quick search. Now yours may look a little different than mine because you can edit this field, but we're going to stick to, if you can see number two, we're going to go to quick search. That means you're going to click on the quick search button. Okay, then you're gonna to navigate to the map on the right. So click close here. And then you wanna to go to where you live. In this case, I'm gonna live down in uh, Tempe. Okay, so I'm navigating my map. And then you can use this here navigation to make it bigger or smaller. Ideally, cause we're gonna draw a map about three, we're gonna draw a map of about three miles. So um, I'm gonna live in a rental property here uh, right out here. So I'm going to look about three miles out from that property right here. We'll just go, oh, no, you know what? I was wrong. It was on the other side of Scottsdale Road. So that rental property is actually right here, right? So we go three miles. We're going three miles out from wherever you spend the most amount of nights. Meaning if you're at your girlfriend's house and you sleep there four nights a week, that's the place where you live. The idea is you're trying to make seeing houses be easier for you to see them regularly right because it's going to be within three miles of where you live when your list when the house comes on you're gonna i'll get it into the other thing but you're gonna edit your this is why you're gonna start on three or four days a week you're gonna decide to get up at seven o'clock because you got to kind of schedule these houses to see about three three uh hours later okay so i navigated i did the circle 
So now if you can see, you can actually do a circle. The other thing is, is when any shape that you create, you can go this and edit it. If you click it with the hand in the center, there you go. MLS says you can edit that search. If you click anywhere in the box, you can edit that search. That means it adds and you can expand that search with the little orange buttons, but okay, cool. All right, so now I put my little map there. I circled it, I touched it, the circle, meaning that's just the drawing of the map. Then you'll navigate. Okay, so now when we click go back here and we go to our list, then it's gonna take out those houses. So now we're gonna edit the search a little bit. I got 253, which is all of the active and coming soon, but we're just looking for the coming soon. So we're just gonna to go to coming soon. So those are 10. Okay, now, so if you're thinking at home, I wanna go see them, right? So you would click on that and then you're gonna save that and you're gonna name it Jeff's. Ooh. You use your name. Oh, bad typer. Coming soon. Okay, now it saves that. Okay. Now you have to put it on your calendar because you're going to make a conscious effort to see more houses. But because you want to become the neighborhood expert, or you want to have stuff for social media, or you want to build your knowledge and you want to do it around your neighborhood. So you're just paying attention to the ones that are coming coming soon each day, right? Whether you know the most will come on on a Thursday or Friday. Um, so now you have my coming soon. Okay. So then if you go to list, that's the end of setting up the search, right? So I'm going to repeat the same thing, except I'm going to go here and I'm going to change it to active. And now I'm going to go to agent days on market. If you don't have agent days on market, you're going to go right here and type in agent days and then select it. And then it will add it if you want to. We're just sticking to that. So I'm going to go agent days on market and I'm going to go here. I want to make sure I see the stuff that's zero one day because I want to see it as soon as it comes out. Okay. So now if I look in there, there's 10 that are new active listings. So that means I got 20 houses to see today at some point. So if it, so hopefully this is why I want you getting up early in the morning, 637. So, cause you're going to go to showing time. I want to go see this house. It's around my house, 40,000. Pretty interesting, right? So I need to select showing time. This is why you're going to do it two to three hours in advance, because in your neighborhood, you can see 10 houses in an hour and a half if you're setting them up at the same time because you're bing, 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 and you're previewing, right? So you can get in and out of these houses. You're going to see all of the houses, all the vacant houses, all the regular, like what, what it is, is the agent when they list is expecting the phone to ring. So when you schedule that thing, they're going to say yes, because they're ready day zero of coming soon, right? And then with active, because now you're going to see more and more houses that are just going to go straight to active. The big difference is understanding, and you may have to slow this down and listen to this again, because I'm talking pretty fast, because I'm super excited, but that's why we're doing a video. But the when it goes active, now it's going to go on, out to people through Zillow. It's going to go through Truly. It's going to go through Realtor.com. And now you're going to see more traffic. So then you'll know by seeing which regular ones get more traffic. But those houses you're going to want to see at eight in the morning or, you know, set up an appointment because I'm going to give you a strategy to knock on neighbor's doors next. This was just simply how you get up, how you set up a search in MLS, save it so that you can become a market expert, so that you can have things to talk about at open houses. So you have things to talk about your neighbor's. This was MLS search, how to set up and save a search for act for coming soon and actives. Thank you. I'm Jeff. Gosh, that was fun, right? If you got any questions, um, everybody should be doing this every single day. Like the goal is that for, I'm hoping that you're going to see 50 houses a week, right? Through coming soon and actives. Hopefully, right? Like if you're doing it, but you don't have to do it every day. Like you're just going to be like, okay, 
I'm going to bust butt because it takes a lot of work. You got to get up early. You got to get scheduled. That kind of controls your calendar. And now, you know, you're going to go see homes from 10 to 12, or maybe you say, okay, I'm going to go see them purposely between 1130 and 130 and the rest of them are going to sit up later because it's around your house. You're in and out all day long and you can buzz through you. Hopefully you got the MLS on your lockbox, but, uh, get out and see more houses, start learning about the neighborhood, gives you things to talk about and shoot to your social media. Have a happy day. Thank <laughs> you.